Hi, this video will talk about how to combine functions taking a quotient, or in other words, dividing functions. So the way we denote that is f over g of x, or f divided by g of x, is equal to f of x divided by g of x. And you have to have f of x and g of x defined in your original problem. So what we're going to look at in this video, it's two different way things, calculate two different things, f divided by g of x, and then f divided by g of 2. So let's take the first one, okay? So f divided by g of x from my definition, which is given above, is just going to be f of x divided by g of x, okay? So now, all I'm going to do is in place of this f of x here, I'm going to fill in what my f of x is equal to, which in this case is 4x cubed minus 8x squared, okay? And in my denominator, I'm going to fill in what g of x is equal to, which in this case is 4x squared, okay? And now division of um, polynomials says that I can set this under this, and that 4x cubed divided by 4x squared is just going to leave me an x, Okay, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, x cubed divided by x squared just leaves me x. And then minus 8x squared, my x squares would cancel, and minus 8 divided by 4 is a minus 2. I can only do that if I evaluate every single term, stick this under every single term in the denominator. So I get x minus 2. And now um, that is what f divided by g of x is equal to. Now let's look at part b. Part b tells me that I want to know f divided by g of 2, okay? So if I go back to the definition in place of the x, I'm going to just write f of 2 divided by g of 2, okay? So the first way I can calculate this is go back to my original f function, wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in 2. So I get 4 times 2 cubed, or 8, minus 8 times 2 squared, or 4, okay? So I get 32 minus 32 is going to give me 0 in the denominator, okay, because that's what f of 2 is. And now let's calculate g of 2. That tells me go to my g function wherever I have a 2, I'm going to x, I'm sorry, I'm going to plug in 2. So I get 4 times 2 squared. So I get 4 times 4, which is 16. doesn't really matter what I get in the denominator as long as I don't get a 0, this would be und then undefined. But as long as I get a number, I can evaluate this and it's going to be 0. So f divided by g of 2 should be 0. That's the first way to do it, and this is probably the easiest. The other way to do it is to actually first calculate f divided by g of x and get it in terms of x, which we've done here. We found out that that was equal to x minus 2. Now I'm going to take that and evaluate it at 2. So wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in a 2. I get 2 minus 2. So in this case, I would have also gotten 0. Once again, I end up with the same answer, just two different ways to get there. The first way, I can just go to my original functions, evaluate f of 2, evaluate g of 2, and then divide them. The second way is to first calculate f divided by g of x. Once I get that function, which in this case was x minus 2, I can then plug in x equals 2 and see what that gives me. So that is how we divide two functions.